This is James Calm, the guy on the bike. Welcoming our worldwide viewership back for another half assed production. And today we're coming to you from the Black and White Gallery. Uh, we're gonna look and take a look at it. Sorry. We're gonna take a look at Ray Rap. I spy. Well, I tried to make it here for the opening party, but I was a little bogged down. So this is actually the closing party. Everybody's shutting down for the holidays. Well, this is an exhibition of Ray Rapp's new site-specific digital video assemblages. And Ray is one of the uh, pioneers of, I guess, what people are calling new media. He's quite a, uh, quite a gadget man here. This piece is titled Serial Model Z, 2008 digital animation for six four inch ICD monitors. This piece is titled Greenfields. And I would say probably overall it's about uh, 12 by 10 feet. And he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine monitors here. What Ray does is he takes digital video and alters them and photoshops them here and then puts them on these little monitors. I was commenting on how much I enjoy what he's doing with the layouts and the, the sections of color on these is bringing in a painter's way of out laying out these pieces. There's the famous Steve Kaplan again. Oh, and this piece with the cords hanging from the ceiling is titled Exercise 18. He's putting a little shot of color in there with his cords. Oh, that's nice. Oh. And this is a digital, digital animation for eight various sized LCD monitors and a unique wall installation. Telling Ray, I think that a lot of this relates to some of the new image painting that was a very influential movement in New York back about 1978. But the great thing is that Ray is digitizing and animating it. This is titled Two Gang Implant. talked about how Mary Heilman would use the fabrication of her paintings as a kind of time-lapse narrative of their construction, but uh, Ray's got a similar kind of uh, whimsical method of uh, 
putting his gadgets together that has a certain relationship to that. Oh, this is one of my favorite pieces and I think one of the most impressive pieces in the show. This is titled Bill Descends Staircase. the animation here. Well, that's a lot of fun. And that's a digital animation for eight 19 inch LCD monitors. It's got a lot of hardware. Ooh, now we got the artist series changing the video discs on the monitors. It's the mad videographer. The mad videographer. Tell us about your show, Ray. What would you like to know? Well, how do you do the uh, the animations? I know you start out with digital uh, video, but uh, you're doing a lot of uh, then you photoshopping or something. Yeah, capture individual frames and then uh, Photoshop, uh, drop out the background, rotoscoping. Uh, then I reanimate them. Sort of like Frankenstein, huh? Well, I guess you could say that. And tell me about your color work. I was I was saying when I came for the opening that I think you've got a uh, kind of a painter sensibility at work here, but it's even more more obvious than it was in the last couple of series of work that I've seen. I think you're right. Uh, I like the green. The green I is like tell. the green is like the background for the uh, the meteorologist, right? But I also like there's a maroon color that I've seen that I think is very nice. Maybe it's because it contrasts so well with right. the green. But there are also certain colors which, if you if you uh, press um, invert on uh, in Photoshop, you'll get you'll go from the green into like a maroon. Right across the other side of the color wheel. Right, right. So that's how that one ends up. And also, you are, there's certain colors which show up better in video than other colors. Tell me a little bit about the way that you decide how you lay out your uh, your gizmos here, because in certain ways there's a uh, kind of a graphic uh, sensibility or a, a compositional element just to the way you're you're laying out your machinery, your hardware. A lot of it is. Uh, I may start off with one piece that I've exhibited somewhere, and then I take part of that piece and I'll uh, rework it in another fashion. And in this particular piece, I have small TVs, so I knew that I wanted them so that they were much more easy to see in a group. So I decided that I wanted an arc of TVs, and then somehow or other I wanted to work that arc of TVs into another shape. And I had these somewhere else, and I said, well, let me see what happens. Is this what people call new media, or is this something else? Multimedia assemblages, I don't know. Multimedia. Yeah, it's, new, it's new media because it's like a video, but it's old. I mean, it's just it's DVD, digital, video. I mean, different things require different technologies. This requires a, a controller so that the, the, the figure is uh, uh, sequenced correctly on each frame. Right. Thanks, Ray. Thank you, Laura. Nice closing party. That's James Calm, please. Thanks, Ray. Congratulations. So this is Ray Rapp's I Spy, a black and white gallery in the tunnel building in West Chelsea. And as always, I welcome your comments, criticisms. Happy New Year, everybody, and thanks, Kate.